is isometrics. Um, so far, this is the hardest theme for me. And I'm trying to figure out how to do an isometric and a balance and um, strength class. So I've been thinking about it all week. And some of the things we do are isometrics, um, like the single leg stance. Um, the stretching is isometric. And we'll talk about that while we're doing the stretching today, why it's isometric. Um, when I talk about posture and we work on our posture, that's isometric. We are control, we're standing and contracting our abs, making which helps us to um, create a better posture. And I'm gonna do wall sits today. If you have a wall, if not, we can make it work another way. I may do wall sit and a squat where we hold it at the very end. And um, I'll try to throw it in as much as possible and talk to you about it while I'm doing it. So um, a lot of you have been in physical therapy. I know for a fact um, and um, isometric is often used in physical therapy. And I'm gonna just tell you before we get started what isometric is. And isometric is contracting a muscle without moving a joint. Um, for instance, if you've had knee problems or if you're laying on a, a therapy or massage table, you may um, do a contraction with your quads. Like um, Meryl, you may be familiar with this, with a towel under your knee where you're pushing down on a towel and it contracts your quads and you're not moving your knee. So that is an isometric exercise. So um, let's get started. Our warm up is going to be the same. And make sure you have some water and um, let's start moving. So let's do a slow march. And take it into a wider march. And bring it back in. Take this march a little bit higher up, opposite hand to knee. And let's walk on your feet. Drop your body, open your arms up wide to the side, getting your shoulders, your back, your chest warmed up. And let's do some kickbacks. Getting our glutes, our hamstrings warmed up and also our upper body, pulling our arms back in a row. And let's do some toe touches to the front. Move your arms around as you're doing this. And let's do some heel touches. And five circles to the right, four, three, two, and one, and to the left, five, four, three, two, and one, and shoulder roll forward for five, four, three, two, and one, and back for five, four, three, two, and one, and let's work on our posture. So both feet pointed forward, about hip width apart, standing nice and tall. Your belly button's pulled in nice and tight as if you have a belt around your waist to hold to the last hole on that belt. Standing nice and tall, thumb line pulling you straight up, one hand behind your head, the other on your chin, push your chin back into the hand in the back and your chin should be parallel to the floor. Your ears are over your shoulder, your shoulders over your hip, and your hips over your knee. So um, shoulders are relaxed. So let's do our first exercise like we normally do. We're gonna do sits to stand, and also warming up our ankles and feet a little bit. So feet about 
shoulder width apart, sit it up nice and tall. Your belly button's still nice and tight. We're gonna use our arms for the first set. So one, sit in softly on the chair. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's work on our ankles and feet a little bit. So we're going to point and flex for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And for the second set, we're going to cross our arms over and take them out of the equation. So once again, sit it up nice and tall, belly button tight. Doing, um, sorry, just lost my train of thought for a moment. So standing up nice and tall and sitting very softly. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's do some, um, let's work our feet out for some eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we have in four, five, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So for the fourth set, we're not going to do a squat. We're going to do a wall sit. So I'm going to use the wall over here in the corner. I tested before and you can see me. So if you have a wall, you can get to it. And you want to lean against the wall. You want to go down as far as it's comfortable for you. And don't worry, I'm not going to torture you. Here for a minute. I'm just going to do a 20 second wall, a uh, 20 count wall set. So lean against the wall, the belly button is nice and tight. And that helps you stay up. And we're just gonna count to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and that's it. You should feel your muscles in your legs tighten up after a while. So for our calf raises and our heel rocks, we are going to hold each one a little bit um, before we move on to the next position. So we're going to go up and hold it. That's one. And back and hold it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, so shake it out. So for the second set, we're not going to do a wall sit. We're going to do regular squats. When we get to 10, we're going to hold it for a 10 count. All right, so make sure your chair is close by when we get to 10. If you need to hold on while we're holding that squat, 
in a lower position, but uh, make sure that you are, you go as low as is comfortable for you before you feel any discomfort. And if you can't do it, that's fine. You're only doing it for 10 counts. So just hang out and we'll move on to the next thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and stay here for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And shake it out. We want to do a little bit of a little bit more time before we move on to our next um, the calf raises and heel loss. I definitely felt that in my calf in particular. So let's do that again. So calf raises up a little bit. That's one, two, three, four, five. And when you find in the heel rock position when you're back here, your quads are contracted. So you're getting a little bit of extra quad work there. So um, we're going to move on to side leg lift, and those are going to be regular. But when we do the rear leg lift, when we have 10, we're going to hold up for 10 counts. So one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we're going to stay on the same way. Contract your knees as you go back. One, three, two, three, four. Contraction five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you should really, really feel that. Once again, if it's too hard for you, just do your thing. This is your workout. One, two, three, four, five. Side one, contract the knees, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it for ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And that is a little bit. <laughs> so let's shake that out a little bit. So um, let's do that again. Right leg lift. One, two, three. Four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And where are my gloves? By the way, don't lean into your chair, just hold on for stability. And the belly button is still nice and tight in this position. In the bed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And short break before I do that last rail leg. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now we get a nice break. I'm definitely feeling that in my hips and my glutes. We're going to do um, upper body. And this, we're not doing any isometrics for this. Uh, we're just grappling up. That's perfect, man. So I start off with my hands. So my arms are up straight. And I'm just going to pull it out this side. So squeeze my shoulder blades together. So one, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, and ten. And with your arms, if you don't have a band, you could definitely do this without. So push forward, um, clasp your um, hands, and push forward as you. You're pushing through water. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And a little bit. Quick shoulder stretch. And for the second set, we're going to do W. So my elbows are at my side. I'm not going to let them tear up. Get that whole height. And I'm going to pull off for 10, 9, 8, 7, 5. Five, 
Posture really helps with this exercise for you. I think I'm just really doing it. I need to give yourself some space between your toe and your heel or just off to the side a little bit. Go ahead. Because what we're going to do today, we normally do lateral raises, but today I'm going to do shoulder rotation. So it's an isometric hold. You're working your shoulder. Even though I'm moving my forearms out, I'm going to show you from the side, I am not moving my shoulder, which is the muscle group that I'm working. So it's standing nice and tall. My right foot is in front of my left. My belly button is nice and tight. Elbows at the side. And one. So while we're doing that, please don't, this is not about squeezing your shoulder blades together. We're working your deltoids, the muscles in your shoulders. So this is just a pulling out. We can see are working here. So don't do any extra. <laughs> um, let's go back to our um, first. stance with the shoulder rotation. Now my left foot is in front. Once again, give yourself um, 
some stability if you need it by just making more space between your feet or offset it to the side. Standing nice and tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Let's put that aside. We're going on to my favorite thing. Well, it's not really my favorite thing. It's one of my favorite things. We're going to do stepping over the sleeping dog, and we're going to superset that with bicep curls and a very slow march. So I'm going to start at the side this week. Um, high step over and high step back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And with this, we're going to do bicep curls and slow march. So if you haven't noticed before, the slow, slow march gets us ready for our single leg stance at the end. So left leg, right arm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's put this away for a moment. And last set of stepping over the sleeping dog. We'll start again with going out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that set of bicep curls. Left arm, right knee started. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And 
And weights away, we're going to do some braided and tandem walks. So as I say every week, braided is like a grapevine, smaller step going back in front. So I'm starting off with my right leg over my left, right leg behind, right leg over, right leg behind. And let's go back. Make sure you're not looking down at your feet. Right leg, left leg over, <clears throat> left leg behind, left leg over. And let's turn around and go the other way. So left leg behind, left leg over, left leg behind, and left leg over. And going back the other way. Right leg in front, right leg behind, right leg in front, and right leg behind. So we're going to do our tandem walk. And we've been doing them with a high knee, and we're going to continue to do that today. Make sure you're within arm's reach of the chair if you do need to hold on. And if you need to step out to the side a little bit or give yourself a little bit of space in front, go ahead and do that. So we're going to go backwards and forwards. So one, two, three, four, and five. And let's go backwards. One. Two, three, four, and five. And let's do that one more time. A lot of fun. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, and five and one two oops i needed to hold on three four and five okay so we're going to do a high knee and we'll superset this with a tricep and so turn your knee your leg out and we're going to um, twist down to our knee. If you have spinal issues, you could just do a high knee up without the twist. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Let's hold it at ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sorry, I didn't warn you about that one. <laughs> Let's switch over to the other side. Leg turned out. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so we're going to do triceps, but we're going to do them a little bit different today. I think I've done this with you before. Normally we do a tricep kickback. We're not gonna do that today. We're gonna just bend your knee slightly and lean in back, lean in forward a little bit, back nice and straight. We're just gonna do some pulses back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great, you should really feel those. I do. 
definitely. Last set of high knee with a hold. Now I'm warning you. So leg turned out, hand behind your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I think I need a water break before we do the other side. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're done with that. So oops. last set of the tricep pulses. So knees slightly bent, leaning forward a little bit from your hips. Hands behind you, your palms should be facing away from you. And we're just gonna do 10 pulses. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And the next thing we're gonna do is this um, single leg stance. And this is definitely isometric. So um, standing nice and tall if you need to hold on, even just a fingertip on the chair will give you some stability. So belly button pulled in, posture really helps with this one. Um, so I'm gonna have my knee in front, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And shake it out for a second. And let's do the other side. Belly button tight. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now my favorite part. So most of the stretches we do are isometric. They're static stretches, which are isometric. And um, I'll point out exactly what we're doing. So with your foot flex, this. Um, this hamstring stretch, we're stretching our hamstrings and our calf. So if you notice when your foot is flexed or if you pull it forward your face, your quads are contracted, which means it's helping the release in the back of your legs. So um, let's do a little bit of these. And Sides. And let's stretch our hips and our so if you have hip or knee problem, cross at your shin or over the top of the other leg, or we're gonna do the figure four stretch. Just push gently on the inside of your leg and move forward. You'll feel the stretch in the leg that's in top. And stretch the sides. And let's stretch 
our lower back. So your legs nice and wide, belly button pulled in. We're leaning forward with a flat back, even though we're rounding over. We're just going to hang out here for a little bit. And then we're going to walk our hands over to one foot. And you'll feel a stretch along the side. And walk over to the other. So let's do a standing hip flexor stretch. So my left leg is back. So I'm pushing my hips forward. And I'm also contracting my glutes on the side, on my left side. So you feel more of a release on the hip. So one hand up and turn towards, I'm sorry, it should be the other way. The left hand is up and turning away from that hip. The more you contract your glutes, the more of a relief, uh, um, release you'll get in that front, the front of your hip there. And check it out and switch sides. So push your left, pushing my um, left hip forward and contracting my glutes and feeling the release. My hand is up and turning away from that hip. And let's do a back stretch, a posterior stretch. So your hands on the chair, your uh, feet should be right under your hip, and you're just gently pushing your hips away from your hands. And gently roll up. Let's stretch your shoulders. And switch sides. Stretch your triceps. Switch sides. Do a chest stretch. So clasp your hands in back and pulse away. So what's happening is that your back is a little bit contracted. Well, you get a uh, stretch across your chest in front of your shoulders. And shake it out. Let's do a gentle neck stretch. So shoulders pointing forward, and we're going to turn to I'm turning to the right and we're just holding it here for a few more seconds. And now looking down, you'll feel a gentle stretch in your neck. Look up and turn to the other side. We're just looking straight ahead to begin. And now looking down, you'll feel a deeper stretch. So let's roll our shoulders forward for five, four, three, two, and one, and back for five, four, three, two, and one, and let's end with posture. So your feet are parallel, that hip width apart, toes pointing forward, belly button nice and tight, plumb line pulling you up. One hand behind the head, chin, push your chin into the hand that's in the back, your chin is parallel. Your head's over your shoulder, your shoulders over your hip, which is over your knee and over your ankles. And your shoulders are nice and relaxed. Thank you guys so much.
Thanks for showing up. Um, I miss